One thing I didn't make explicitly clear is don't pick the images I picked. This is you pick images you want to work with uh, that resonate with your creative spirit. I picked three images for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to talk you through uh, what you're about to do very quickly. And I just don't want you trying to hunt down and find the same images I'm using. You be true to you. Got it? This is my demo count, and what you're going to end up with after the next video is you're going to have three images with links to the photographer of each image, unsplash on each of them, and then a link to the image itself. So this will lead to the page with that image, that image, and that image. And these small versions um, that we're putting on our portfolios, this is square. So I made it 1,500 pixels square. This is tall. So I made it 1,500 pixels tall. This is wide. So I made it 1,920 wide. You know, 1,920 by 1,080. Only this is um, 3 by 4 rather than 16 by 9. So it's taller than 1,080. But the idea is I'm going to explain how to make these links, how to control the excess tracking data, and how to save out these JPEGs to the appropriate size for your journal. Because I want you guys saving these and documenting these because we are going to use this for the rest of the year. Do you got it? And not just with Unsplash, with free resources, public domain imagery, things that are provided us. We say thank you with links because that helps people increase their rankings on search engines and especially Google and um, helps them be successful in what they want to do. Okay? And besides, it's the nice thing to do. Got it? So learn how to do this right and this will be pretty simple. It will take some thinking and practice on your end, but that's what we're here for. Learn this well, you'll be able to do it the rest of your life.